Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6, actually. We're going to be talking about some theories, but this also links into the end of Season 5 and what we have coming with some of the other shows, because we're going to be theorising about Season 6 of The Flash and what's to come, but also Crisis on Infinite Earths, because it all sort of links in, because they are teasing what's to come in Crisis at the end of this season, but also heading into Season 6 because it's a massive part of each season. We know the Anti-Monitors showing up in Supergirl's finale this season, as well as Arrows. So it's all heavily linked in. So this is a highly requested video, so I'm getting around to doing it. Obviously, I've touched on stuff that we're going to be going over in this episode, but this is everything that I personally expect to actually happen in Season 6, but also in Crisis separately. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so I want to say sorry for the past two videos, I've actually been away, it's Easter, I'm finally back, so I've got my normal microphone, so I apologise for that, but I want to thank you all for the support in the recent videos, like, most of the videos have gone over 10k, We've had a 30k Godspeed review, which was kind of crazy, and then some of the other videos, like the Small Wheel video, they're all blowing up. So, I want to say a massive thank you, because, you know, I'm really, really trying hard to get to 100k, and it has really boosted me this week. And I want to say a thank you to all of you who has come back and watched, and for all you old people who have been here for a long time, thank you to you and also to you new people who maybe you just recently subscribed, so welcome aboard. Alright, so let's go on and talk about what we want to talk about today. I'm going to start off with my Flash Season 6 predictions. So this is a broad range of predictions, so it's from all over the show, it can be absolutely anything, but I've got some notes I want to go over. Alright, so the first thing is, we know this season we had that teaser for Red Death, and if you remember all the way back to Season 3, they dropped that teaser with Savitar that there was DeVoe. He was, you know, your greatest villain, which obviously didn't turn out to be. Maybe Savitar somehow forgot about Cicada, or maybe in that timeline Cicada wasn't supposedly the biggest villain. But that happens every season, they're like, oh, Savitar's the worst speedster of all time, and then so on and so forth, so that happens a lot. But anyway, so he was actually teased in the season before his name was dropped. So with the name drop of Red Death, it's safe to assume that there is a high chance he's going to be the season 6 villain because they did that with the Thinker, so why would they not perhaps go down the same route with them saying, yeah, notice this, maybe you'll get it next season. And I think Red Death could definitely be coming. And I think it's a perfect idea, I think it's the perfect villain to get back to basics of sorts for a season 6 villain, but also for season 6 as a whole, because we've had two seasons with barely any mystery, and the mystery that has been in those seasons has actually been talked about the most, that's the thing that everyone wants to talk about and, and is actually excited to see episode to episode, so in season 4, it was a pretty dull season, we didn't have much going on, the thinker was boring, there was no like big fights, there was no mystery to talk about, there was no actual intriguing thing until we got a few good episodes later in the season like Flash Time and so on, but we had a mystery and that was the most important thing and the most interesting thing that everyone wanted to talk about and I wanted to talk about myself, I was so intrigued. And that was Nora Allen, who obviously was revealed to be Nora later, but the mystery girl, as we called her at the time. So, that was an important thing. So, note that down. So, we haven't had any mystery for two seasons. So, season five, not really much mystery. But the mystery, the small bits we've had, we've been talking about that a hell of a lot. And so, that is Godspeed. We had no idea what was going to be happening. We didn't know if he was going to be a series regular, if he was going to be a one-time thing, who was under the mask, would it be August Hart? That got people talking, and everyone online was talking about Godspeed. See, they're missing a trick out, they've missed a trick out for the last few seasons, and I think that's maybe part of the reason why some of their ratings have dropped, is because there's nothing really to look forward to week to week. But this season, there's been a lot more to look forward to, that being Reverse Flash and Nora's story, even just Nora. Nora is really intriguing, she's really good, and 
The funny thing is, the big drawing point of the season hasn't been the main villain, hasn't been Cicada. She, at this point, she's a she, but she obviously only came in pretty late. But, you know, Orlan wasn't a big talking point because he wasn't that interesting compared to some of the other stuff that was going on, say, to do with Nora. So that was the most interesting thing. And then we got the introduction of Reverse Sash, and, you know, even Cicada's taken a backseat in these recent episodes. So... The most interesting thing of these past few seasons hasn't been the main villain, so I think if they reintroduce speedster villains, that being Red Death, I think they could revitalise what they used to have with Season 1, Season 2, and even Season 3. I know a lot of you don't like Season 3, but you have to admit, everyone talked about Savitar, everyone was so intrigued, and I love Savitar, I really like him. And it was just so exciting, it was such a great time to actually have this channel and to get to talk to all of you who were around at that point about Savitar because it was just so intriguing. And so it only makes sense to go back to basics, have a mystery villain of sorts and I think have a villain who is a speedster, who has a mask, who we don't know who's underneath so we can all theorise about this stuff and actually talk about, you know, go to your friends say at school or maybe online on Twitter and be like, yo, what do you think's happening here? That's the last time we had that was obviously Nora, but more recently Godspeed. But I'm talking about in a big capacity in terms of a main villain. So it's been a while and I think they have to go back to basics. And I think they will because they tease Red Death. So going on from that, I think there's definitely gonna be more mystery next season and it needs to happen from my perspective, but also I feel like it's going to happen. I have this kind of strange feeling inside of me because, like I mentioned earlier, we never talked about the Thinker or Cicada much recently, and comparing to Zoom, Savitar, and Reverse Flash, I'm not sure about Reverse Flash because I didn't start watching The Flash until late in Season 1, so I wasn't sort of in the online community then talking about it, but definitely for Zoom and Savitar, I remember before I made videos, I was going on YouTube being like, who is the man in the Iron Mask, who is Zoom, and everyone was watching those videos, and everyone was talking about it. I was talking about it to people who weren't even watching the shows, and that's why I wanted to create my channel, to talk about Zoom, to talk about the man in the Iron Mask, because I had my ideas, and I wanted to talk about it. And so you can see the correlation with, you know, the online capacity of how many people are actually intrigued with the show, it's gone down massively. And it used to be much bigger, and I think going back to having a speedster mystery villain is a really important thing, and I've got a feeling they will with this Red Death teaser, so I'm fairly confident he's going to be the villain next season. And you have to take it with a grain of salt right now, I could be completely wrong, that's just me theorising, and perhaps a more hopeful side of me, but yeah, let's move on to talk about the next bit, what's going to be happening in season 6 potentially, what are my predictions, so... I think Nora's going to potentially stick around till Crisis, and obviously there's a selfish part of me that wants to keep Nora around, and I could see her actually just leaving at the end of the season. I think there's two ways we do this. I think with the way they could end the season, this season, season 5, could be in a way that, oh, Nora hasn't achieved what she's trying to do, and now Crisis, because of the timeline changes, has actually changed to 2019, she sticks around till Crisis, and maybe she leaves after Crisis, and she does what she does to save her father, maybe she gets erased in the process, but I think the way that I envision this season ending, I don't think she's going to be able to succeed on her mission, and I think she's going to actually stick around. So obviously that's just me theorising, I could be completely wrong, but yeah, I think Reverse Flash is going to get out, Obviously, we've seen the set photos, Nora's actually fighting him, so somehow there is a disagreement. She turns her back on him, or he turns his back on her, and I think things are going to go to shit, and I don't think Nora's going to successfully do her mission, so I think she's going to stick around. That's my instinct, that's my gut instinct, but also at the same time, I can see her, you know, ending the season because maybe she's just supposed to be this one season arc. But I don't think she's going to actually complete her mission at the end of this season. So, talking about the next thing, will Godspeed return? I made a video on this just the other day, so go check that out. I'm sorry about the microphone quality once again in that video. But just quickly going over briefly what I said in that video, I think there is a chance he returns. 
maybe he returns as he is. I think there is definitely a possibility that this version of August Hart can return because he's not dead or anything. He didn't die. Or it could be another version. It can be the actual Speed Force version. He got his Speed Force powers, he got his lightning and his speed from the Speed Force Storm on another Earth. And I'm talking maybe a different timeline with all the timeline changes. Maybe at the end of the season we have a cliffhanger. Oh, Godspeed's returning and he's going to be in Season 6. But this is a different version and then we theorise. Because I think a thing that The Flash does really well is ending their seasons. They always have a great cliffhanger like to leave fans wanting more. And I think that's what they need to have you know, throughout the seasons. And I think having Red Death... Is definitely going to be a good thing so i think godspeed there's a possibility he may return but i think right now it's kind of slim so in regards to tone and how i think season six will play out i think they're going to stick with this current tone i think this tone is really really quite good right now i've been really loving season five i have barely any complaints my only complaints i sort of told you guys in this video is that cicada is good but not that interesting, a bit repetitive. So I think they're going to stick with this current tone because I think the tone as a whole with the show is really, really quite consistent right now. And I think they may even go a bit darker. I reckon maybe more towards season two type. Like there was obviously a lot of light humor in that, but it was mixed in with this darkness and I think they did a perfect job. I think that's the perfect example of what the Flash TV show is all about. So go back and check season two, check some of those episodes like Enter Zoom, which is the introduction of Zoom. And he comes in and that is so dark. That is chillingly, actually scary. But then at the same time, you have this part in the episode where they're with Dr. Light. And if you guys remember, they're just having a good time. They're trying to learn actually how to use the powers and it's quite funny in the training session so they find that balance and I think obviously I've said this many times but season 4 really screwed up the tone and I think season 5 has definitely got back on track and it's been really good. Alright so I'm gonna go on and talk about Crisis now, Crisis on Infinite Earths, this is the crossover that was teased at the end of the Elseworlds crossover last year, this is happening this year. I'm not sure exactly what date, it may happen a bit earlier than normal because they're teasing all this very early on. So what could be happening? I think there's going to be plenty of doppelgangers in this because if you've read Crisis in the comics, you know there is a shit ton of characters. Obviously they can't do the amount they can in a comic book in the TV shows because obviously casting, CGI, expenses. They have a lot of expenses and drawing characters is nothing like actually having to pay real actors and I think there's going to be quite a lot of cameos just small cameos maybe like we saw in Elseworlds with those dead bodies like some nice easter eggs I think you're gonna see some characters being picked off one by one maybe some doppelgangers so I believe maybe we'll see Power Girl we might see some other versions of the Flash maybe another version of Arrow would be interesting and some general superheroes out there in the multiverse I think they may introduce or bring in the idea of some of these heroes like referencing them that's what I'm talking about in this crossover so I'm expecting quite a few new characters some new superheroes and I think they may do a job of actually adapting the comics to make it a little bit smaller but feel like it's massive I think that's what's going to happen in that so we may see Green Lantern John Diggle I think that's something they've teased for ages they teased it in the Elseworlds crossover when Barry Allen from the other Earth, played by John Wesley Shipp teases that a version of John Diggle was the Green Lantern and I think that he may have a cameo as Green Lantern in the crossover. I think that would be really interesting and I think that's not too far-fetched to actually think because Crisis has so many characters in the comics. And with the recent announcement that the Smallville actor Tom Welling, who played Superman, who plays Clark Kent in Smallville, he's going to be appearing in Arrow Season 8. He could appear in the crossover, maybe just in a cameo role as Smallville Superman. So maybe adding to that sort of Smallville continuity because we saw a Green Arrow version of the one from Smallville in the Elseworlds. Obviously that's just mainly an easter egg but I 
have this feeling that maybe they may introduce him just for a cameo. So maybe he's like Earth 2 Superman in the original version of Crisis because we have these two versions of Superman and one has Supergirl and one has Wonder Woman and I think they may do something like that because Tom is a bit older obviously than he was when he was shooting Smallville so they may do something like that comparing him to Tyler Hoechlin who's obviously a bit younger. Alright so Jay Garrick and Superman potentially might die in this crossover. I've got this theory because they're not going to kill Barry Allen and Cara Danvers or Supergirl and the Flash in the crossover because their shows are going to go on and there is no reason for them to do that and they've obviously got the license to change what happened in Crisis and they do this a lot in the TV show just you know altering which characters do what and I've got this feeling that a version of the Flash, a version of Supergirl is going to die and I think Jay Garrick and Superman who's obviously not a version of Supergirl but you know closely related and closely related in powers essentially is what I'm trying to get at I think they're gonna die I think there's a possibility or it could be a completely different version it could be doppelgangers who die but the final thing I want to talk about is Oliver so loads of people have been theorizing that Oliver may die because of his deal with the monitor and everything that's happening and how Supergirl and the Flash didn't die like they were supposed to in the original Crisis on Infinite Earths comic books but in the Elseworlds crossover it was very very similar with Barry disintegrating and Supergirl actually disintegrating she doesn't do that in the comics but anyway so that's the teaser for that I think that with him making this deal I think there's a chance he dies but I don't see them ending the series because it is the series finale around that time I'm not sure if it will be the Elseworlds crossover or not but that would be ending with a bang that would be sick but I don't see him dying I think there's a chance they may die but yeah I don't really see a way for them to actually end the series like that because it's all about Oliver and his life and his family and ending on a down note like that I don't think they're gonna do that so thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it's quite long but I had a lot to talk about in terms of my predictions. So what do you think of my season 6 predictions? Do you think Red Death is actually going to be the main villain? Do you think there's going to be more mystery? Do you personally want more of that? So you obviously you can talk to your friends. You can talk online. And just generally be excited more so for episodes. Because you're sort of curious about what's to come. Do you think so? I think so. I really want that next season. And I think they may do that with the teaser of Red Death. But also, Crisis on Infinite Earths, are you excited? What do you think is going to be happening? Let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.